Uh, hello everyone welcome back to the channel we're gonna do a little like vlog style casual try on haul so excited for this try on haul it's kind of um a little bit more raw a little bit less planned try on haul because i actually have a wedding to attend and i just got all these dresses delivered and i figured this would be an amazing opportunity to show you guys like some of the pieces that i chose literally for myself to try them out and see which one i'm gonna end up wearing then i also ordered the most adorable bag that i'm so excited for i kind of like sneak peeked inside and ripped the paper but i want to finish the unboxing together with you so i'll show you like um how that looks i am probably going to wear these sandals they are gorgeous my favorite pair that i have not worn yet so you can see they have not been worn and i have them in my closet for maybe two years one year for sure but it might be even two years i don't remember when i got them so this just tells you how boring my lifestyle is because these are stunning and i think i should just start wearing them but this is going to be icebreaker and we'll see how comfortable they are probably i shouldn't wear a shoe first time for an event where i want to dance and have fun maybe i bring a pair of like shoes to change into or something i don't know we'll think about that later but i think i'm going to wear these because they match the little bag and yeah enough about that let's start dressing up let's start with this um orange little number i feel like this one is the trickiest one because already like the color doesn't show off the best in on camera like it looks a lot darker and more red toned and it's a lot more like a yellow undertone in real life and i also feel like it changes the color of my hair so i don't know if this one would be like the most photogenic especially not on me with highlights maybe this is nicer for someone with like solid colored hair like bright blonde or a darker brown anything in between it's kind of like weird i think it like changes the color of your hair so yeah let's see i'll try it on and we'll see but like so i feel like this is not really the color for me so this is the dress number one i got all the dresses from revolve i don't think i mentioned that but i just love they have fast shipping super easy returns and they probably have like hundreds of dresses to choose from so and it's been in my favorites for a really long time so i ordered a bunch of colors to try them on finally i love the dress i think it's beautiful it's super affordable i think it's like 200 dollars, and a couple of colors are even on sale so even less than 200 dollars, which is amazing for like an occasional dress so love that i really like the design i think it's very feminine very like form-fitting but not vulgar and that's sometimes very hard to balance so i really really like that love the one shoulder detail i love this rouging and how it goes like diagonal so it's very elongating i definitely prefer the longer one versus the one that comes up to the knee it depends like on your height and body shape but if you have wider hips if you're more of like an hourglass figured or if you are a petite i think this one elongates more and makes you feel more like slender one thing i wasn't aware of is that this dress has like a bodysuit underneath and it's a little difficult to get into and now that i think about it i know how you would go to the restroom with this dress you have to probably like take it off completely and it was a little like tight so if you get like sweaty or something if it's hot outside this might be a little bit uncomfortable i think i might have like four colors of this dress in my order so i was definitely betting on this one but now that it's on i feel like it might not be ideal for this specific location so the wedding that i'm going to is going to be on an island in greece in the middle of the summer and it gets really hot over there almost like miami type of heat and it can also be humid so i feel like i don't want to risk it and feel claustrophobic also like there is a lot of fabric because this fabric on top is rouged and then you have the thick bodysuit underneath and i'm already feeling like nice and cozy not really toasty but almost toasty and i'm inside with like ac on so yeah i think unfortunately this dress is not going to work for my specific occasion but i might end up keeping one of them just to have for some future events like when 
um, it's not too hot or if the event is indoors I love it though it's so pretty so like flattering I don't know I really like the one shoulder detail guys I am so bummed that I ordered this one in a wrong size because it's hard to know if I probably should have ordered more sizes but I had so many dresses in my basket so I was like you know what I'm just gonna wing it and go with like my usual size but you never know like each brand is different especially with dresses like you don't know and this one has absolutely no stretch in it plus it is like a structured dress so it has nice like corset top with this gorgeous little flap detail it has pockets it's like super like nice pencil like long skirt i am not even gonna put heels on because i'm barely standing in this dress i feel like kim kardashian when she was wearing that uh, Merlin Monroe dress when she could not zip it because I did not zip this dress like it's just halfway zipped so I can show you a little bit like how it looks but it's definitely uh, too small for me and I am sad but it's not a big deal because I don't think I would wear this one either for the specific wedding <laughs> I'm out of breath <laughs> I cannot breathe oh, because it's like so tight uh, but yeah I don't think I would end up wearing this one anyways it is very like structured and has no stretch it's like um, fully lined dress even like a gala dinner black tie event not really an event where you want to dance want to have fun and just be comfortable so I love it I would probably keep it if it was in my right size because I'm just obsessed with this color I love this like bubblegum pink it's so barbie like and it's just magical and I love it it's very girly I like um, the contrast of like a very girly color and this very structured more like elegant design so I would definitely recommend this dress it's really really nice but unfortunately it's not my size i'm not gonna be keeping it okay i'm gonna unzip it because i need to breathe but yeah love this dress it's so so pretty i'm so sad um because this looks so nice very well made and i love the lining it was really easy to get out of it because it's kind of like slid off my body so love that but it would still be probably too warm too structured for a hot summer wedding in Greece but for other types of events or different climates this would be such a gorgeous dress honestly I'm tempted to order it anyways in my size and just keep it for some other occasions I don't know we'll see I'm a little bit conflicted about this one so I really liked it on the model like on the pictures so I absolutely love this dress it was one of my like top favorites because I just love this detail but I just think that this one might not be ideal for me and my body shape if you have like beautiful strong shoulders and maybe uh slightly narrower hips i think this dress would be perfect because it kind of like creates this illusion of uh, wider hips i just think for me personally it's not the most flattering fit because i do have pretty wide hips for me it kind of like it just accentuates the hip area and doesn't do enough in the chest area I mean, from the side profile and this angle it looks just stunning but i feel like as soon as i turn like so or like so it looks uh i'm gonna probably take some pictures also and see like how they photograph and also send that to my mom my sister and see what they say we do have a winner because i absolutely love this dress this is literally perfection like dress of my dreams i want this dress in every single possible color kind of understated but i think there's still that wow factor because it's so like cinched in here at the waistline i don't know if you can tell how it creates this little dip over here which i love i love this it looks like it's a corset almost but it's not and I can dance, I can walk because it's like so soft and stretchy. That's a tip that I wanna give you guys. I would definitely go for this like lycra stretchy fabrics for hot summer weddings. There's nothing better than these type of fabrics. It's almost like a swimsuit and it's just so comfortable and it feels almost cooling on the skin. I love a beautiful like silk dress. I love dresses with a lot of like ruffles and you know, uh, more like elaborate designs, but I just find them so uncomfortable in the summer. I don't know. I, for me personally, I just prefer this type of fabric 
for like a really, really hot summer weddings, especially if uh, it's gonna be humid. And yeah, I don't know. I just find this like so, so comfy and I literally feel again like I'm wearing a swimsuit. So definitely have a winner and it looks so beautiful with silver. Um, it's gonna look gorgeous with my new bag, which maybe we should unbox the bag. So I tried on with the dress because I think this is gonna be my outfit. Let's open up the little handbag. I'm so excited because it looked super cute online. Good and bad news. I love the bag, but I literally just walk like back and forth from the kitchen to the bedroom in these heels and they're not the most comfortable. I can say that. I'm just so not used to walking in high heels anymore, especially like these, which are pretty high with no platform, like nothing, um, no, no like cushioning uh, around your toes. So fingers crossed, I think I'm just going to suck it up and go through the pain. Anyways, back to the bag, how adorable this is. It's kind of like a little shoulder bag. Uh, it comes with like paper stuffing and the dust bag. So this is how it looks without the stuffing and it's a lot softer and it has this little hook here. Yeah, so I think you're supposed to use this hook. I'm going to look it up. I don't know. Is this how you're supposed to wear it? I don't know. I think I'm going to wear it on the shoulder though. I prefer this look. Okay, moving on before I get back to trying on dresses, which clearly I'm not excited about anymore. I wanted to show you guys some jewelry that I ordered because I knew I'm going to wear silver and I don't really have any silver. I just have some old Tiffany silver jewelry and um, yeah, it's just not polished and it's not elegant enough for this event. So I ordered some silver jewelry and I am obsessed with this ring. And if I remember correctly, it's silver plated or it is actual uh, sterling silver, which is great for silver jewelry it's a lot more affordable than uh white gold but it's not like some random metal that you're wearing it's not gonna color your fingers or anything so it's like actual jewelry clashing now with my gold jewelry but it's so so pretty i love it i think i'm gonna wear it like uh in general with my gold jewelry because i just love how nice and shiny and sparkly it is i would prefer to wear it here on the middle finger but they did not have smaller size so i ordered this one nonetheless because i just loved it so much and i'm gonna wear it here on my index finger it's gonna be so pretty like a nice little statement piece i don't have any bracelets so i think this is gonna be like enough on this hand i'm gonna wear my silver watch and my wedding um rings on this hand so it's gonna be enough then i also ordered a couple of earrings i'll show you guys my favorites here is the first pair it all depends what I decide for my hairstyle, like if I'm gonna keep my hair up or down, I think I'm leaning towards some sort of an updo, but I am just so bad at doing them and I don't think I'll find like a hairstylist. And I think the venue is close uh, to like a really small town where we're all staying and I'm not sure, like, would I be able to find a hairdresser over there? I don't know which got me thinking like what do people do when they have like a destination wedding do you fly stylists like hairstylists makeup artists what do you do even like photographers <laughs> like do you hire a local photographer stylist all that uh, that must be like very hard to find and like trust someone i don't know so here are my top favorites these are super dainty i know they're kind of like very simple it's like a little hoop with a uh, pearl so really like these i am definitely keeping these just in general and then uh these are beautiful like statement sparkly earrings now it's all weird with this gold jewelry just hanging here but forget about my gold jewelry <laughs> just think about the earrings i think they're both really pretty yeah i think i'm gonna bring these and wear these and they go very well with the ring we have one absolute miss like it even looks worse on camera like the color looks literally like highlighter pink and it's a little bit better in person but definitely not it like i don't know where you would wear this but also the quality of this dress is not it i don't remember if it was really really affordable or if it was like mid-priced i don't remember you can look it up i'm gonna link them all anyways but i would not recommend this dress for pretty much anything big pass just looks cheap overall 
I mean, the shape maybe it's not that bad. Also, the idea here of this cutout detail, one shoulder is not bad. That's why I ordered it because it looked a lot better online. Um, but in person, it just looks a little too cheap for my taste. Then the last one, same as the first one, just this beautiful like purpley light blue color. I definitely love this dress. I think it's like my second favorite after the blue one that I'm gonna be wearing. And I think it's super flattering, really pretty, very comfortable as well, it's like stretchy. I think it would be also easy to like, you know, move around, dance a little bit. Uh, the other one is a tad more comfortable, hence why I chose it, but I am not a huge fan of the bodysuit underneath. I think it just makes it a lot more um, complicated to go to the restroom. You have to take the whole dress off and it's pretty tight and I just don't see the purpose. There's so much of this like ruched fabric, I don't get it, like why they needed to put a bodysuit underneath. I think just lining up to here would be enough. Yeah, I just don't get it. Maybe I would even cut out the bottom part of the bodysuit because I just don't understand like what does it do. If you want some shapewear, you can wear shapewear on your own and it's a lot more comfortable. For the price, I think it looks so much more expensive put together and it's just gorgeous. I think also they have so many colors of this dress, which is perfect. And this is the last one of the Norma Kamali dresses. I am just not going to try this one because they're all the same. I just wanted to show you guys the color because I think I will be keeping this color. I do like the like light uh, blue, but I don't think it actually suits me that well. I think it's a little too cool toned for me. And I also just checked the footage of the other dresses and I think I might have been wrong about the orange one. It doesn't look that bad. I don't know. It might be just a lighting i am just like never sure about these things i think i need to do that like color analysis like color theory seasonal theory whatever it's called but um yeah i just never know like which ones are my colors but i definitely love this color i know green looks good on me because i usually get compliments when i wear green especially uh something like this like this nice warm green tone uh, so yeah, I think I will be keeping this one because I just love these dresses I think they are really really cute and comfy and super affordable. Oh my god This is so tiring like I'm so happy that I'm done like I love trying out clothes But it's just like so tiring and I didn't even try that many dresses So that would be all my battery is dying clearly because I spoke like I don't know how long to the camera I hope this was helpful and gave you some inspo if you are going to a wedding and yeah i hope you liked the dresses that i chose i am going to link everything down below together with sizes that i ordered just fyi for the pink dress that did not fit me i think it was the same size as the others but it just did not fit me at all and i will see you all in the next one